Hey everybody, Greg here. You know, I've been on Facebook for a little while now and I've been on some of the archery forums and I've been surprised at the dust-ups that have been started over what people think traditional archery is or traditional archery isn't. And it's just amazing some of the opinions that people have. But you know, it, it did get me thinking and it got me thinking, well, what is traditional archery? You know, I never thought about it. I just do archery. I never put a label on it. And so I've been reading everybody's stuff and I got some questions and then I got some replies. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna list some of their questions or some of the points people make. I'm gonna ask you some questions about it and see if you can defend it or tell me what you think about it. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you my opinion of traditional archery. So let's get started. And here is the first question. If so, what about the composite bow? It's been in use for over 2,000 years. Surely that's old enough to be called traditional. The longbow, as we've come to know it, which is basically the English, some people call it the Welsh longbow, it pretty much just dates back to the Middle Ages, and it enjoyed its greatest success and fame from 1250 A.D. to 1450 A.D. So I ask you, what about recurves? In this picture, this is a picture from, the, from Susa in Iran, and it shows the famous Persian immortals. And look what they're carrying. A full 1,250 years before the height of the longbow, they were using recurves. Now here is a section from Trajan's column in Rome. And look here. Again, recurved bows. 1,000 years before the height of the longbow. So you see the recurved design is well over 2,000 years old. Does that not make it a traditional design? Okay, so let's say which a lot of people do, that the longbow has to be of the D-shaped design only. So how about the flat bow version? It's very popular now. You see more flat bows than you do D-shaped bows. And flat bows were one of the very first bows in the longbow. Then they found the D-shape, and then back in the 1930s they did a big study. And the study was designed to show that the D-shaped longbow is superior to all others but all the evidence from the study showed that the flat bow is superior to the long bow. So, can you have a flat bow and still be traditional? And speaking of bows, can the long bow have a reflex deflex design? Or does it have to be straight? The Mary Rose had long bows with this feature. Yet I've heard people tell me that real long bows don't have this design in it. If you can't use modern materials and still be traditional, I got a real question on this one. How about the coatings on your bow? How about the glues used to laminate it? How about your string? Should it be made out of sinew or cloth? But definitely not modern materials because that's definitely just not traditional. Now is it? If traditional archery is about only using wooden arrows, then how about those plastic knocks you have on the end of your arrow? And what about the glue that you use to secure it? Or how about the glue that you use to secure your tip? Or how about the glue you use to secure your fletching? And if you don't use glue for the fletching, how about that modern string you use to secure it? And I'm not even going to mention the paint or the sealer that you use in your arrow. Are those traditional or are those modern?
So there you go. There's some basic questions, hopefully that, you know, made you hopefully think a little bit about what is traditional archery. You know, everybody has an opinion. There's no right, no wrong. Now, I promised that I'd tell you what my view of traditional archery is. And I'd like to give you a little um, background so you can understand where I'm coming from. I like the Roman Empire. I just, I just love Roman history. And you know, and the Romans are the perfect example. The bows they used at the beginning were vastly different than the bows they used at the end. Now, the Roman Empire, the western half fell in 476. But the eastern half of the empire, who still called themselves Romans, were around to 1453 AD. Romans went from real simple flat bows to recurves to composites. They started using the thumb ring. They adopted horse archers. And that's my point. Traditional Roman archery was a flat bow. But over time, it became the recurve. Over time, it was composite. And over time, thumb rings. What is traditional is always changing. And I think a lot of people think traditional because of Howard Hill. You know, that's what he did, so that's got to be traditional archery. Dude, there was people doing archery thousands of years before him. And they're doing it all different ways. So, what I think traditional archery is, has nothing to do with equipment. Traditional archery is about shooting without any aids. No sights, no releases. That's it. You know, and even that's going to change because with compound bows that were made in the 70s, you now have fathers that shot nothing but compound bows teaching their kids compound bows so they never shot a recurve or a long bow. And in time, compounds are going to be called traditional too. You know what? It don't bother me because I'm having fun doing what I do. Thanks for watching. You know, I hope this video made you think just a little bit. If you like my channel, please, please subscribe to it. 